We're tracking three tropical waves in the tropical Atlantic and each one of which the National Hurricane Center giving the potential for some development. The first two have a moderate chance of development. The third one probably won't move into an environment to where there's much chance that it could become a tropical depression or named storm. But this is kind of part of this conveyor belt of tropical waves or clusters of thunderstorms that are coming off the western coast of Africa and they're continuing across this main development region. And the first two, this one right here, that is approaching the uh, Lesser Antilles and then the one further out in the Atlantic have about a 40% ch chance of development over the next five days. So models by middle of this coming work week do show that maybe one of them at least could develop into a tropical depression or named storm. Now I know it's been a pretty big lull in action in the Atlantic since we had Elsa at the beginning of uh, July, but you know, it's not uncommon to see lulls before things really pick up. And this is a look at the tropical timeline. On average, if we look at many, many years of data and we look at the frequency of tropical systems, whether they be named tropical storms or hurricanes, and you notice here as we get further into August and closer to that peak of hurricane season, which is September 10th, tropical frequency and the number of these storms we see on average really starts to increase. So if we're getting to that time of year where we got to stay prepared and watch every single tropical wave for potential development.